I had a very popular tweet recently by my standards and all it said was Peter Wingard's Dracula. Peter Wingard's Dracula. Look at that map. Fancy. I think people in Britain who have a fixation with cult TV of the 60s and 70s look at Peter Wingard as one of the great eccentrics, the great oddballs of the acting profession. Here was a man called Cyril Goldbutt. He lied about his age, he lied about his origins. But in the late 60s, early 70s, he was the suave, womanising secret agent Jason King on television and hugely popular with women. I think he was voted in one newspaper as the man that most women would like to be seduced by. No wonder he became a cult. Jason King cult. Mm. Look at that. He was Clytus in the 1980 film of Flash Gordon. Mike Myers says that he inspired the character of Austin Powers. Yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah. So anyway, I was looking on the internet, as you do, at a digitised copy of World of Horror magazine from earlier in 1975, and I was amazed to see a review of Peter Wingard's Dracula. I didn't know he'd played Dracula. The production was set in the 1920s, and the somewhat tedious and exposition-heavy script was played primarily for laughs by the supporting cast. There was a winsome cameo from a cheeky white rat, and some of the special effects, which included kamikaze bats with rather poor aim, the severing of a hand, and a pretty spectacular vanishing act by the Count, were most entertaining. The play was a production of Billingham Forum workshops on Teesside in the northeast of England, so just down the road from me when I was growing up. And there's a rather nice review of it on Peter Wingard, the official website. I'll leave a link to that in the description. To say that the play was not really scary would deny the success of a series of brilliantly executed stage effects, rats galloping and bats hurtling about to the accompaniment of delighted screams, chairs moving, books opening, doors slamming, darkness falling, all in a variety of interesting ways. The critics on local papers were less than kind. Paul Shaw in the Hull Daily Mail reported that this Dracula production is no classic and the only audible reaction from the audience was some nervous laughter at one or two tongue-in-cheek remarks and a few juvenile shrieks when a fake rat was slung into the front row. The reviewer for the Birmingham Evening Mail, meanwhile, wrote that there's neither real horror nor belly laughs. Dracula, played by Peter Wingard, flounders somewhere between the two, like a vampire unable to climb out of a mud hole. Several people replied to my tweet that as children they had seen the play about 50 years ago at Sunderland, in Birmingham, and one person had seen the one of the very early performances at Billingham Forum. He says that he was quite near the front and that Wingard had a big speech towards the end spit all over the place. It was outrageous. If you enjoyed this load of nonsense, please consider liking and subscribing and I'll see you next time.